Hello friends. Today we will go through move all command of email package. In this video, we will move mails for different type of connections. Move all action moves mails from one folder to another folder. Usually a bot developer uses this command if a mail is processed so that it will not be picked up in next bot execution. Automation Anywhere provides three different protocols or ways to support this. That's uh, these are IMA protocol, Exchange Web Services or EWS, and locally installed Outlook client. POP3 protocol does not support moving mails, and so this RPA tool does. So let's start. Firstly, we will create a bot, and we will name it as Move All. We will search for email package here and here we will drag connect command then move mail move all and disconnect command and let's first provide the connection informations so firstly we will use this outlook type of connection and uh, and for this outlook type of connection we do not need to provide any credentials for reading mails or moving mails from one folder to another folder this this type of connection will connect from our locally installed outlook line and it will move mails from this inbox folder to move folder so let's first click it and since we are using for this outlook user 0910 gmail type of user so this user we have to select from this drop down and uh, for this we have to perform a desktop operation so just we'll click on refresh option and now our drop down options what we have here we have different type of users and we will select for outlook user 0910 that's fine we have selected and no any other information required for in connection command now we will come to move all in move all command we, we are providing specific folder that is our source folder is inbox and destination folder is inbox slash move yes it's uh, inbox slash move that's fine so now we will that's fine we have selected and we are using same session name in our all above commands that's fine so now we will run this this bot and it should move mails from inbox to inbox move folder let's see that's fine our bot ran successfully and yes all our mails move from move to inbox that's fine and in the same way we can do it reverse so just by changing it from inbox from move inbox move folder to inbox so let's run it again fine it's working properly so first options that is for outlook we have performed successfully now we we are disabling this and we are again dragging a connect command and a, here we will select for email server type of connection and for email server under email server type we have two options two protocols it supports so imf or pop3 as we know that pop3 does not support moving mails or any other filter options so we will create a bot for imap type of protocol and here we will provide the information so i have a user named office 365 underscore dev at the rate automation anywhere dot store that's fine and let's copy it to log into the server so that we can verify how our mails are being moved so let's click this and this is my user and here is my password that's fine and click on yes 
let's find inside our inbox there is a folder named ews and inside ews we have 15 mails and if you will come down to temp folder inside temp folder there is no mails it's an empty folder and in our bot we will try to move mails from ews to temp folder so here i will have to create a password first so password let me create it and host name is outlook dot office 365.com port number is 993 as we are using imap protocol and we have to select this use secure connection and that's fine and uh, inside move all we have to have minor changes so my source folder is inbox slash ews and my destination folder is inbox slash temp so mails from ews will be moved to temp folder so let's run this fine mails are being moved from ews folder to temp folder excellent move all mails are moved from temp folder to inbox folder so for IMA protocol we have created bot and verified that it's working fine now just uh, let's suppose we are using pop3 protocol and using the pop to pop port number is as 995 and in this case we should get exception that pop3 is not supporting so let's run this bot now and uh, just reversing this part now i'm trying to move mails from temp folder to ews let's run fine our board is failed as per our expectation and it's it's showing message here that pop3 is not supported for move operation that's fine and uh, yeah so we have verified for imap and pop3 also locally installed outlook line let's come to firstly disable it and again we will drag a connect command here and this time we will verify for ews server so for ews server again we have to provide the same information that is here we have Mm -hmm. fine and again our uh, our password is i'm using the same variable it's also fine and uh, fine and uh, we have selected ews here domain name is same as uh, outlook so it's uh, again it's optional so we are not selecting this and here i'm using basic one not an auth2 protocol so that's fine we all are supported this move all commands is being supported by all different versions of exchange server so here i'm using this 2010 so let's see and again we as we are using the same user here so so this time it will move all mails from temp folder to ews folder now our ews folder is empty and uh, yes fine so temp folder is our source folder and destination is ews so let's run this bot so fine our bot ran successfully and it has moved all mails successfully that's fine so yes so we have seen that uh, there are four different ways to read mails through this rp automation anywhere rpa tool and uh, these are outlook through outlook client then imap and pop3 and again ews and we have verified for all just for your informations 
for this type of connection, we have to install our Outlook client locally here and we will have to integrate our user. And for this, you can search, you can, you can search in, in my channel to see step by step. There are video already we have. And uh, again, for EWS type of connection, here we have also options for Auth2 type of connection for insecure providing EWS client ID and tenant ID. And also we have to authorize for this type of connection. So for this authorization and connecting using EWS, we have video you can search in my channel. That's fine. And uh, please hit a like and subscribe button if this video is useful for you. Thanks for watching.